Good evening and welcome back to the Crossing Maniac channel. So I just wanted to give you a little quick update on what's happening on Rags to Riches again. There's Timbra. So as I have stated in like shorts and other videos, I have come quite a long way. I make the golden dung beetle in my last video. I am still currently on a rabbit hunt. I need to find the golden bunny to craft that recipe. I do have it. I've done Sahara today. I paid, because I'm a forager in the challenge, I paid, paid my bells for that. Um, I think what I'm going to do this evening is just kind of give you an update. So the game that I'm playing is currently in October and I did that intentionally because I want to move it along because I have sea creatures that I really need to catch. I'm growing the pumpkins for the, um, because it's October and I'm going to need them to make some of these crafting recipes. These are the roses that I'm growing. I have planted new bushes. Uh, none of my money trees were ready today. I'm hoping by tomorrow. What else? I haven't got any new fossils in a while, but I am almost done with that. I filled up the front area of the museum, and I just need to, like, finish a couple of the dinosaur exhibits inside of the museum, and I'm done. What did I do this week? I got another recipe from Pascal. Um, Pascal, I think it was the mermaid bed. Let me check real quick to be make sure I'm... I've got a lot of new recipes this week. So I got the spooky lantern, the candy set. So it was the bed. So I was diving this morning for sea creatures, trying to get ones that I haven't had. And he gave me the mermaid bed recipe. That pretty much covers it. Um... I did all my Nook Miles plus goals for the day. Oops. I don't know if I want to do this or not. And I'm not really sure that I want to time travel, to be completely honest. Just for the simple fact that, you know, if you get a hard goal or something, and you have to make sure they're all done. What time is it in game? 46. So some of those creatures I need. I can start diving for at nine. Oh, I found my money spot though. We can do that together. I just wanted to do this rag to riches because I hadn't, oh wait, I better go get some money first. So let's go back and get it. So I'm gonna continue to work on it. Um, like I said in my short video this morning, it's October, so Every day now in Nook's Cranny, there's a special part of all the spooky stuff you can get. So, like, let me go over here and show you real quick, and then we'll get money and plant that tree. I can find it. I, maybe I went the wrong way. And I hope everyone had a good day and had a good week. Hope you've got big plans for the weekend. I'm going to tell you a funny story. So tonight... Uh, okay. So, every day in Nook's Cranny now, there's a different piece of... Like a spooky table, a spooky chair. It's just different every day. It's kind of like for their Halloween stuff. So, if you're new to the game or you haven't played for a while... Just don't forget in October to keep going into Nook's Cranny every single day to get candy. And then you can get a piece of this furniture, like the chair, the table. I think one day it's an arch. Um, I think they have an arch for this set. I could look it up. Um, candy and one piece of the... Spooky furniture, that's what I'm going to call it. And also, you you want to have enough candy because on October the 31st, 
I think it's actually on Halloween. You will see Jack. And he comes and does a special event. And then you can, like, go trick-or-treating with your villagers. And they give you candy. And then I think they give you, like, like you can get stuff for the candy. Or you get lollipops. So they, so they might hand you a lollipop, then you give the lollipop to Jack. I think that's the way it works. Anyway, I'm sporting the raggedy outfit today. Um, <laughs> every year about this time, uh, the tailor shop sells the raggedy outfit. I love this outfit. I, I should have bought it in another color, but I didn't. I just got the red this time. It kind of goes nicely with my do-rag, I think. <clears throat> Let's just get some money, because we need a little bit. And then that's something else I wanted to touch on. I have over 500,000 bells in the bank now. Um, and I'm going to plant another money tree. Don't you wish money really grew on trees? Because I sure do. I also have talked to Sable in the tailor shop quite a bit now. So... Um, she will probably start giving me patterns pretty soon, which would be really, really nice. Oh, so let's plan our money tree, and then I want to show you who my campsite villager is today. I mean, we could get a load of this. I'm like, oh my gosh. Me and my grandson are planning this morning. He's probably not bad as a whole, and... I don't know whether to take him or not, but I couldn't find him on the portal. I mean, I couldn't find him at all, but maybe that could have been due to the fact that I was trying to hurry to get my grandson ready to go, so I didn't have much time to really put any effort into it, but I have had two campsite villagers this week, and the first campsite villager was a monkey. And I think you say the name Nana. Well, I couldn't find that one either on the portal. So I didn't take that one. It was a monkey. Like I said, I think it was Nana. <laughs> I was like, um, I really don't think... Okay, i got to find a place to plant it. Then we'll take a look at this campsite villager. But I really didn't want Nana. So we didn't take her. That's going to be an orange tree. And this is going to be a money tree. And we're going to plant it and just see if it grows. I think I hit all my rocks earlier. So, yeah. I mean, we're just going to play for a minute. See where we can get on rags to riches. I'm going to try to work on this tonight. So, anyway, the funny story. I'll tell it real quick before I go in here. So, my husband and I were supposed to go to a Jason Aldean concert tonight, and we drove all the way up there where the concert was at, and we kept thinking, boy, uh, for a sold out Jason Aldean concert, this isn't very crowded, and the gates where you go into the parking lot were closed, <laughs> and we couldn't figure it out, we were like, Man, what is the deal? We mixed up the date and the concert is tomorrow. So instead of being at a concert, I'm going to make some videos and push some content. Which is fine with me because I like doing this too. So this is who I got today. And I couldn't find him in the portal. Is it... Hamfrey? I think it's Hamfrey is how you say it. Let's see. Hamfrey, yeah. And... Oh, no. No, no, no. I don't know if I want him. I'm thinking about who could he replace if I did it. And I don't even see him on the portal. I don't think... I don't think I want to. Because, let's look at the map. I vote. Okay, so I did something else this week. I voted on the portal. And I've, I've never done it before, but I went ahead and did it. I voted for Fuchsia. I voted for all my villagers. 
to maybe move them up a little bit. So I have Kelly, Clay, Agent S, Bruce, Bo, Marina, Fuchsia, Axel, T Timbra, and, May and Melba. So I'm pretty satisfied with the way things are. Callie keep keeps getting thought bubbles above her head this week. And every time she does, I'm like, oh, oh. Because I really like Callie. What time is it now? Could we die for a minute? If we could. Let's go over here. Because some of these I needed were all day. And some of these I needed were like 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. I'm not staying up at 4 a.m., by the way. I, I would never make it anymore. Oh, that's right. We do it here. Let's just... Let's just dive a little bit, see if we can find anything different. We'll do this for a little bit, and then we'll see where we get with it. I am going to do a video where, um, I am going to do either a stream or a video. What's this? I already got that one. Where we clean up, design, and go for at least four stars. Because I need to get my five stars. Because then I would get the golden watering can. And that would be really good. I probably already got this one. Because a lot of these that I looked up today. And I did look it up. I say they swim really fast. So. If that's the case. Ooh what's this. Let's try to catch this fish. Because I need certain fish. While it's raining. And it's out here in the sea. Let's see if it's it. This is it. I did play today. Um, I try to play Animal Crossing every single day. I started Fay Farm. Uh, there's a video of day one on. Uh, I named my town, or my farm, I guess, Blarney. So there's a video of day one on the channel. So go watch that. It's, it's really good. That game is a lot of fun, and I really like it. Oh, my God, I just got a dab. What's this one? Okay, because it's raining, so I want to do it while it's raining so I can see if I can catch it. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm probably not going to get the golden fishing rod, and I'm probably not going to get the golden net. Just because I've, I missed a few in September, and I'm not going to go back and, like... I'm not going to run it back anymore. Oh, I think I need it to make a fishing pole. Let's make one real quick. And I'm not going to because when I did it before the bug off, I felt like it really put me in a bad spot. I need to make a trash bag too so I can catch a fly. That's another one that I haven't ever made. We could do a Nook Miles Ticket Island. Maybe we'll do that. Because maybe we could find another recipe or um, another fish that we don't have. Yeah, let's do a Nook Miles Ticket Island together tonight. Let's see what we get over there. And I also wanted to touch on that I've made two flimsy axes and I'm gonna try to break start breaking axes now so I'm gonna make tons of axes and just start breaking them that way I, maybe I can get the golden axe so I'm working towards it I check Nook's Cranny every single day and if you, ha if you haven't seen my video where the short or I made a video about seeing the bunny in the driveway. Then you need to watch it because um, I was really surprised the other day and I got so many views on that video. I was so excited. Let 
Give me just a second. So, let's get a nip mask, take an island together. Got two new subscribers this week. Um, so I'm gonna try to really push the content and really do this. I'm gonna try to stream again Sunday. I think I'm having problems with some of the settings but we're going to keep working at it. I had a pretty good stream. Here, let's get this. Let's, we need an oak mile stick. We can only do one because we're not on a villager hunt, but we can do one together. Let's go see if we can get other flowers or fruit. Oh, yeah, and I bought the hyacinth. This this week and I planted it. So I did get another new flower. I got the hyacinth and the rose. So I got the hyacinth, the rose, the mum, the lily, and the cosmos. But I would like to find some other flowers. I don't have any pansies. And I planted the orange tea leaf bushes. So... We're, we're going to, I think I'm going to do a stream. Uh, maybe I'll do it. Either Faith Farm or I'll do Rags to Riches Sunday. Well, we're going to do a stream with Rags to Riches where I try to get the four stars. I want to fly. I'm using it for we need to do some of Harv's Island too, but I just wanted to get some more money first. Time for takeoff. I did start, I did play Disney Dreamlight Valley this week. Um, and I did get Belle and Beast on the va in the valley. Um, and I need to play on that because I need to do the star path. So that might be another video I can make. I'm just trying different things to see. What works. These rags to riches things seem to do pretty good. What do we get? We still got our sister fruit. Oh, let's see what recipe this is. Maybe it's another golden one, right? How lucky would that be? Nope. But it's something I don't have. So. Okay. So let's see what this one is. And let's try to break some axes over here and get some wood. At least we can do that. There's my fishing hole. Kind of trying to slim, trim down the tools because I there for a while I had quite a few in my pocket where I had just crafted them for the Nook Miles puzzles. When I want you to craft things, sometimes I just craft the tools, and when it wants you to customize, sometimes I just customize my tools. <gasps> what is this? No way! Blast from the past! I caught. <gasps> this is the fish I needed. This is the exact fish I needed. I caught a think positive BA cola can cola can I guess is how you say it. Well, I got it. I this is that's awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get some gold out of these rocks over here. So if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. Your support means the world to me. I hope you're enjoying the videos and the content. If you do like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment box if there's something you would like to see. If you're not subscribed and you're watching the video, 
I would like it if you would consider it. It would help the channel grow. Oh, it's a loss to see if I can catch it and still get it. So, I tried this the other day. Nope. And it didn't work. It's not going work this time either. Oh, well, that's okay. Maybe I take some medicine, though, because I don't want to keep getting stung over and over. Oh, I didn't want to drop it. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that. Okay. It would mean the world to me and the world to the channel. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and enjoying it. Because that's what it's all about. This is a lot of fun to me and this is my favorite thing to do is to play video games. I absolutely could do this. Well, I absolutely do do this every day. <laughs> if I didn't have other responsibilities, I, I could do this all day long. I really could, but I have other things that I have to do, so it's not possible to do it all the time. Now, on Friday nights and on the weekends, it's super easy. We're just going to do this and break some axes and get some wood and stuff and talk. Kind of had a rough week this week, so I'm just going to try to relax. Relax and enjoy it. That's what life's all about. I can't believe I caught that fish over here. I Let's see if there's any more here that we haven't ever caught. So. We'll just hit some trees, try to break some axes. See if we can catch any different fish. Gather up some wood and stuff. You just gotta help me remember which ones we've hit. Because <laughs> I won't remember. I'm just going to try to have fun with this stuff and not take it so seriously and maybe that'll help. Animal Crossing I'm completely comfortable with because I've played it for a long time. Uh, some of these other games, learning and all that sometimes is, you know, it's kind of nerve-wracking when you're trying to learn and make a video and, um, but we're going to get there. Oh, I missed it. My bad. It's been... Oh, it's a scorpion. No way. Oh, I'll probably get bit. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Nope, nope, nope. You're supposed to turn your back. Oh, it disappeared. Ah, uh -huh. That's one thing that I've always wanted to catch. I've caught tarantulas, but never a scorpion. Let's see what this fish is. It might still be a salmon. I don't know if they leave them in the game this time of year or not. We did get a recipe, though. And I did get a recipe from my villager today. And... Like, during the holidays, I do that a lot. I visit and I go in their houses because... Oh, uh, that's a tilapia. I already have that. That way, you know, I can get the holiday recipes. I think one Saturday last year at Christmas time, I sat down and I played. And I played for like uh, two or three hours. And I just kept time traveling and time traveling until I got the ones I wanted. And then I kind of stopped because my husband was like, uh, are you going to ever get up off the couch today? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm on the grind for real. Sometimes I just get so caught up in playing and in the grind that I don't even realize what time it is. Like on my days off and stuff, I'll just do it and do it and do it. And I won't even realize, you know, that I've been at it for three hours. And I'll look at the clock and I'm like, oh, geez, I better get up. <laughs> I brought, I bought a 
we moved all my stuff to the basement, I bought a brand new gaming chair. And it is the most comfortable way I've ever had to play video games. Um, and I was like, oh, I like this chair. If you, it's got a massage thing on it. Like if I plug it into the port on my computer, it's got the massage in it. Too bad it doesn't have heat, right? We already had that one. That would be great if it had the heat. When it, I never get out of it is the thing. They'd be prying me out of it. Stacy, you need to rejoin the world. World? No, not really. When my daughters lived at home, this used to just drive them absolutely crazy. They'd be like, Mom, are we going to go somewhere today on a Saturday? I'd be like, mm, maybe. <laughs> the obsession started about five years ago. And I just, what I did was I got the Switch when it first, I think when it first came out. Um, and I wanted it so I could play Super Mario Odyssey. Which I played and I made it all the way through the game. I completed it. And then I just started playing other games. And I realized that I wasn't, I wasn't too bad at it. Um, and I just caught the fever and just kept doing it. I played Super Mario Odyssey and I completed that game. And I played uh, Breath of the Wild and completed that game. That's how we already hit this one. And I just kept going with it. And then, about the time, March 2020, um, COVID hit, Animal Crossing came out, and I thought, I want to try that. I, and I had never played any of the older Animal Crossing, so I really have no point of reference, because I really never played those. I only played New Horizons. And... I was like, I want to try that. And it's a real funny thing. Like, my daughter, when I first started playing Animal Crossing, was like, Mom, it's... How, what did she say? Something about it's like... Um, an island full of homeless people or something like that. And I was like, Katie, that's not nice. And she's like, well, that's kind of what it's like. But then I started playing it. Okay, broke another axe. Good deal. And then she was like, "Well, I wanna, I wanna try." And so then, now she plays. So, kind of funny story. My oldest daughter doesn't play video games. The one that I can get her to play with me the most, that we both enjoy, is Don't Starve. Um, and that is one of my favorites. We, we could probably do a stream out of that one when the channel gets big enough. Because that is one of my ultimate favorite games. And I had a co-worker introduce me to that one. Um, and she was like, oh, you gotta play this game. It's so much fun. Yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay. And she's like, oh yeah, it's so much fun. Like, you're, on, you're in this, like, woods or whatever and they put you out there with nothing no food no fire no tools no nothing and you got to gather it all and do this that and the other and I was like I don't know about that it was so funny because um it was about my birthday time and at the time I was still dating my now husband and I bought it oh crap I missed it I'm getting distracted now it's okay well, it's all good just a game and I was still dating him, and I bought this game, and I liked it, but I couldn't figure out the mechanics of Catfish. Couldn't figure out the mechanics of it. And I was like, um, I'm not really sure about this game. But as time went on, 
I started looking things up on the video about it. And I was like, huh. And I got better and better at it. And I was like, I like this game. And I've played it ever since. I have some other favorites that we could play. Um, I'm thinking about testing out Hogwarts Legacy. Um, what I want to do is I can finish up that uh, the house that I'm currently on, which is Gryffindor. And then we could start a new house together and do a different house. I have a friend of my daughter's that that's what she did. She started in Gryffindor. Let me listen here. And then I think she said she did Slytherin. And she said, oh, I cut another one. I cut a carp. Cool. Oh, crap. Let's swap it with something. Something that we just don't really need. What don't we need? Let's just swap it with this. We better go back because we've got awful full pockets. We broke an axe and we caught two fish. So let's go donate them to Bladders real quick. Um, I think... She said that she did Gryffindor, and then she finished that house, which I need to finish. I'm close. And then she said that she went and... I think she said she did Slytherin. So, that's what. We might do that. We might finish up my Gryffindor house, and uh, then we might... Um, Let's go donate these fish to bladders. And then we might do like Slytherin or Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw. It'd be kind of fun. And I could get shirts and maybe we could stream it and we could wear our shirts. I have a lot of good ideas. I just got to build an audience first. Let's go donate these real quick. I do like Fay Farm. Um, it's a lot of fun. It gets, like I said last night in the first video that I made for Fay Farm. Let's donate these real quick and then I'll tell you. Okay, it's this one. And then I can go sell what I have. A carp. And he's going to tell us about it. He gets so excited. Oh, the carp have you ever seen their teeth? For your sake, I hope you have not. Carp have teeth in his throat, strong enough to crunch on hard things like shells and fingers. A good rule of thumb when dealing with other species is to keep your fingers out of their mouths. And although having neither thumbs nor fingers, I am quite safe from this little fellow. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. We're gonna. I am so happy I caught that fish. I think I counted it the other day. I cannot say the name of that fish. Col. A colacanth or something to that. Um. I thought we have to Oh, that's why I'm fine. So, I was saying in the video last night, and I couldn't quite remember what I had played. And I think they called it Coral Island. And I played it on the computer. It was like a little demo game or something. Oh, I know something else we could do. We could do Dinkum together too. Because I have it on the computer. And I started it. And Dinkum is a fairly decent game. Um, Story of Seasons. I'd like to try that. So we can do a lot of things on the channel together. But I, when I started Fay Farm last night, I kept thinking, this reminds me of something. And that's what Fay Farm reminds me a little bit. And I think they call it Coral Island or something to that effect. And that's not a bad game either. I 
had a lot of fish to sell. Probably get better prices if you sell it to CJ, but we're not gonna sell it to CJ. We're gonna sell it there, and we're gonna sell the rest to our drop-off box because I'm not real sure as a forager if I can sell the sea creatures in there. So if I can, um, just leave me a comment in the comment box below. Give me some feedback. Let's just sell this. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't think she's around tonight. But I just want to tell y'all something. I'm afraid to go in the house because Kelly's my stalker. Now, let me tell you about this. Every time I come in this house to change clothes or put something away or something to that effect, that character follows me in here every single time. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did some... Oh, I put the chocolate flooring down today and used this rug in here. I've really been trying to do a lot of stuff with the house, too. That's my workbench. Let's go put some of this away. Then we're going to go dive a little more, and then we'll probably wrap it up for the evening. I just wanted to get on here and update rags to riches real quick. And the game says that I'm on day 50-something. Um, that may be close to right, but I don't think I'm, well, I didn't want that up there. I wanted this up here. I'll keep that down there. I don't think it's exactly right. Um, cool, I got a lot more room in my pockets now. Um, because I've been time traveling. I don't think it's quite been, I think I checked it the other night on a video. Well, let's just check it real quick. Probably my stalker will be in here. <laughs> I've caught quite a few fish. Like, I caught this one, and I donated it, and then we caught the carp. There will be a few that I won't get, and I, and I was going to try to get them this time. Okay, let's look at the nook miles. So I could get the golden fishing rod and the golden net, but I missed some back in September, and I just don't want to travel back anymore. 56 of a hundred, yeah, 56 of a hundred is how many days. I don't, I mean, I don't think it's been quite that long. Like I said, just because I've been time traveling and I think it's saying that it's been that long and I don't really think it has. What time is it on the game now? Okay, let's go dive and see if we can get a few of those. I already know what it is. It's a giant... Isopod, a Venus flower basket. I think those are the two. The flower basket and the giant, I think it's that isopod pod. My grandson and I saw Pascal this morning too, but he, um, no, we caught a scallop, we didn't see him. So, Probably the next couple of times I catch one, I'll see him. Let's just dive for a few minutes and see what we get. Now, I don't think some of these are because it says it swims very fast. So, if they don't swim very fast, then it's probably not it. Got a coral oyster. And... I did real good on sea creatures until about September, and they've been really hard to find. And the fossils are the same deal. I did really good, and I thought, wow, I'm doing great. And then it's just kind of slowed down for me. So I'm working on it, but it's kind of a, a deal where you just have to kind of get lucky after a while. When you first start, you get a lot because you don't have a lot of it. But once you collect a lot, it gets a little bit harder because you've already got it. So it's not 
it, you're going to start getting repeats and you're really going to have to kind of work for it, which is where I'm at with this. And I can't, on the weeknights, I can't stay up late. So I try to dive on the weekends when I can stay up a little bit later. After I catch these two, though, I will have to wait till November to get any more. And I finally made a decision that I'm just going to let the island, or I'm going to time travel some, but only forward, and I'm just going to let it run, if it will, um, into like January, February, and March, because I need for it to. I've been shaking trees to get the pine cones in it. Pine cones and acorns. That way if I get the leaf fires and stuff like that. Because I like to decorate with those for fall. I can make them. Because I think some of them you have to have that. For those. Let's see what this one is. So I've been trying to shake the trees. To get it. Turban shell. I already have that one. See what we got this time. Sea slug. Well, I don't think we're gonna get anything new. <laughs> like I said, it's it's been a struggle lately, um, and I've been fishing at the right times. I don't know if the rain affects the diving. I don't think it does. We caught that other fish I needed. I think we're probably just going to wrap it up right here. So this is your Rags to Riches update. A little bit of Animal Crossing this evening. Um, let's just find a spot to wrap up in. Let's just go over here. There's Fuchsia. Let's just end it by the house tonight. So I'm going to wrap up the Rags to Riches here this evening. I'll make another video this weekend, probably Rags to Riches video. And Sunday, I, this may be the one I stream. That way I can work on it and try to get to four stars, break some more axes. We could kind of hang out together and do it and see what I can get. So, if you watch this video all the way through, I want to thank you for taking your time to spend it with me. If you're subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. It means a lot to the channel and a lot to me. And if you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like the video and the content, then please consider doing so. And I'm going to say goodnight, goodbye, and play on, and I will see you in the next one.